ceremony was held in Bosnia Herzegovina today to mark the 25th anniversary of the Srebrenica genocide. Thousands of Muslim men and boys were killed by Serb forces on this day in 1995, near the end of Bosnia's war. Thousands of survivors normally take part in the service, but because of the pandemic, only a small number attended. Ceremonies were also held in Canada to mark this grim anniversary. More than 25,000 Canadians claim Bosnian descent, and many of them arrived in this country during or shortly after the Bosnian War. As Mike Dole explains, they came here hoping to find a better life. The photo is faded and well-worn, much like the memories Morella Hojic Sivic has of her father Suleiman, one of over 8,000 victims in what's become known as the Srebrenica Massacre. He was a few days short of turning 27. <laughs> Suleiman was making a desperate attempt to escape the Bosnian Serb forces, who were rounding up and summarily executing Muslim boys and men. It would be nine years before his remains were found in a forest grave. And when I would go to sleep at night, I would actually Imagine the scene of him coming back. I think my mom, she actually knew that he would never come back, but she never wanted to tell us. By then, Morella had emigrated to Canada with her mother and brother. She was the only one who spoke English. It was up to her to do the interview with immigration and to set up bank accounts. She was 12. Yeah, it, well, it was really, really difficult, but Canada has given us an opportunity to change our destiny and we have definitely changed it. Murder, extermination. A quarter century after Srebrenica, history shows that 62 Bosnian Serbs were convicted of war crimes. Yet survivors are still waiting for the Bosnian Serb Republic to own up to charges of genocide and the forcible rape of thousands of Muslim women. It's those denials that spurred Windsor MP Brian Massey, whose visit to the mass graves left him shaken, to erect a monument in his hometown. You know, hopefully sometime during the year, somebody will walk by and they'll see, you know, they'll, they'll see the memorial and they'll ask questions about the look out in line and then they'll remember and find out what took place. And that's one person stronger. For the international community, including Canada, this anniversary is a reminder of failure. UN troops witnessed the massacre unfold, yet were vastly outnumbered and unable to stop it. I think one of the legacies has been that uh, countries have learned not to get involved, because once you're involved, you're responsible. So take a look around the world. Canada is not involved in much peacekeeping because they don't want to be present where war crimes are happening, uh, and they don't want to have their troops at risk. Last year during a visit to Bosnia, Morella's five-year-old daughter Miriam asked to learn more about her grandfather and what life was like for Morella at the same age. It's not a story any child should know, much less live through. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.